How do we turn escalating customer demands into highly demanded products? Extending the capabilities of synchronous technology within part and assembly, Solid Edge delivers up to a hundred times faster design experience. Before we show Solid Edge in action, let's first understand what engineers struggle with. Users migrating from a 2D system are concerned with the amount of redo and adding back 2D dimensions lost when moving data from 2D to 3D. Loss of data tends to stall the move to 3D. For traditional 3D CAD users, finding interferences is easy, but fixing them tends to be very difficult. Users demand more speed and flexibility when making edits. Traditional history-free 3D systems don't offer feature edits using sketches or even reordering, and often cause starting over. Let's see how Solid Edge with Synchronous Technology 2 addresses these key issues. Solid Edge with Synchronous Technology 2 applies 2D dimensions from imported drawings directly into 3D. Most 3D CAD systems strip out 2D dimensions during the transition, but Solid Edge will turn these into editable 3D driving dimensions. Let's see this in action with a 2D AutoCAD drawing of a wheel hub. As we change some options, a handy preview shows what the drawing will look like in Solid Edge. While this drawing came from AutoCAD, Solid Edge supports other popular 2D formats such as ME10, DWG, and DXF. Just like AutoCAD, we'll hide some layers so we can focus on the part and associated dimensions. Since you've already invested your time designing this part, why not use it to create a 3D version? Watch as we create a 3D part directly from the drawing using the Solid Edge Create 3D command. With a fence select, you simply choose the views and dimensions you want, then they're automatically copied to sketches in a new 3D component. Now you're ready to complete your design in 3D. Solid Edge's grab and go tools let you build your model fast. Select 2D regions, then pull and push them into shape. Using snap points from the 2D sketches means your model will be the correct size. Notice how this part was completed with a few simple mouse drags and without any commands. Designing with fewer commands and fewer steps means faster completion times. We'll add a round at the base to complete the 3D design. The steps used to create our 3D part are not bound to the limitations of history, so we can move just about any part of the model, such as a mounting hole, and the rest updates. We can also make dimensional changes. Here, we'll simply choose the dimension and key in a new value. Remember, these were uneditable dimensions in 2D, but Solid Edge has turned them into something you can use. Dimensions can also be locked to preserve important distances. The boss height needs to be fixed, so we'll lock in the right value. As changes are made to other parts of the model, the boss height will remain. A unique feature of synchronous technology is directional control during dimensional edits. Here we can thicken the base by lowering it or raising its height. In order to get the same results in a history-based systems, edits will be needed to some parent features. Dimensions migrated from a 2D drawing can also be used in equations. Here the diameter of the mounting boss must be 20 millimeters larger than its support. You can apply a formula to any dimension using a variety of standard math operations. Watch as we make a change to one diameter and the offset distance is preserved in the other. Solid Edge with Synchronous Technology 2 is the only CAD system that transforms your investment in 2D into usable 3D designs.